Jerome Lifkoff from Iona College. Um, it's kind of related to the last part of the discussion. Uh, Dr. Tennyson is the only one who uh, I think has mentioned organic farming and gave an example that apparently was a failure. And I was just wondering, is there any uh, future uh, for organic farming in solving the problems you've been talking about? You know, I'll, I'll take that on. Uh, I wasn't suggesting it was <laughs> a failure. I was suggesting that being a purist uh, was, was not the best approach, but that the best approach was to give farmers uh, the option of a variety of, uh, of technologies and let them decide uh, what led to the, the greatest increases in productivity and profitability and that that generally tended to be a combination uh, of organic approaches and uh, some uh, mineral inputs of fertilizer uh, and, and, and generally improved seeds uh, as well, although that's, that's clearly part of being organic. Um, there's money to be made by African farmers uh, producing organic crops. Um, around a lot of major cities where there are airports uh, that can uh, be used to ship organics uh, to Europe where they can get a premium price, uh, there, there's been a lot of success. And farmers are, are, are making money and that's expanding. I think that's a great thing and it's something we should, we should promote. There's opportunities for African farmers to tap into a, a premium market and in many cases, they're, they're already organic because they're not using many inputs. Uh, that's, uh, that's great. I don't think organic is going to, uh, to feed Africa. Or Africa was organic. When it was using a follow-based system, that was basically an organic uh, system. And it was sustainable uh, as long as the population in Africa uh, was also sustainable. But when you have a, a population growth rate of 3% in a country or almost 4% uh, in some of those countries, that traditional organic system uh, has not worked. And there's just simply not enough labor available to bring organic materials in, and there really, in, in many cases, aren't enough organic materials. And as I indicated, um, by using a little bit of min mineral fertilizer, you, in fact, uh, can get a lot more out of that organic material. Uh, and there's a very synergistic uh, effect in what's called integrated soil fertility uh, management. So I think there's a lot to be learned uh, from yeah. organic, and there's certain uh, marketing situations in which pure organic can be profitable to farmers. But to feed Africa, uh, I don't think we're going to get away with not use, without using fertilizer any more than we have anywhere else yeah. in the world. 